Welcome to the Hitachi ID Systems demo series featuring Hitachi ID Bravura Identity. This video will illustrate the steps required to configure and run a top-down access certification campaign based on a specified level in the organization hierarchy, with each manager reviewing his or her own subordinates. Certification of entitlements held by users is one of the key drivers for almost every IAM project. Managers require the ability to certify who has access to what and to quickly take any necessary corrective actions for users with inappropriate access levels. Hitachi ID Bravura Identity provides flexible access certification by allowing changes to who certifies whom, what users and entitlements are in scope, and how often the review is scheduled to be performed. In this scenario, Billy will configure an entitlement certification campaign for a fellow director, Bernard, and all of his direct reports. Entitlements for all users under Bernard will be reviewed and certified by their own managers. I'll be using a Hitachi ID demo environment with Bravura Identity to demonstrate how Billy can initiate an entitlement certification campaign and then Bernard can perform his portion of the review. I'll begin by logging into Bravura Identity as Billy. In this demo environment, I can bypass two levels of authentication. From Billy's home page, under Administrative Options, she clicks Manage Certification Process. This shows the Active Campaigns page. From the tabs at the top, Billy clicks Start Entitlement Certification Campaign. For this campaign, Billy decides to have entitlements certified for all target systems, all managed groups, and all roles. She also includes certification of profiles and review of profile attributes. Next, Billy selects the desired user population to be certified. Note that you can navigate through all requirements using the tabs at the top or the Next buttons. All users can be selected or users can be chosen individually or by user class. I'll leave the default choice. And click Continue. Here is where individual users or users from a user class are specified. For all users, this page lists all managed groups, roles, and target systems. Next, Billy selects the user attributes she wants displayed during the certification campaign. In addition to the default attributes, more are added by clicking Select, searching for the desired attributes, and selecting them. Billy adds the office, department, and job title displayed for each user. Once she's done, Billy clicks Continue. Here it is confirmed that all the desired attributes have been included in the campaign. The arrows indicate that they can be moved up or down to change the display order shown to reviewers during the certification round. Next, resource attributes to display are selected if desired. We'll skip these and move on to remediation. This is the list of predefined requests, or PDRs, available to the reviewer for remediation. Here Billy accepts the default PDRs. Since a review of profile attributes was specified at the start of the configuration, Billy is prompted to define them now. The predefined request selection provides the list of attributes that will be included in the review. The default selection is used here. Proceeding to Reviewers, a summary of selected entitlements is displayed along with the ability to choose from a list of certification methods, including single reviewer, named reviewers, each responsible for a set of users, certification by entitlement authorizers, certification by defined relationship, or each user to be reviewed by their manager. For this campaign, Billy would like all org chart managers to review their own direct subordinates, as they will know their needs best. She makes the selection of each user to be reviewed by their manager, and clicks Continue. Now Billy selects the top-level manager and subsequently his or her direct reports who need to review and certify their subordinates. 
For this demonstration, I'll only select one high-level manager, Bernard. Moving on to Peer Groups, reviewers can be shown recommendations of items to pay particular attention to, based on consistency among their peers, visually represented by a color bar with a number stating the percentage of peers having the same entitlement. This can help the reviewer to decide whether to retain or revoke a user's entitlement. I'll leave the default settings here. Next, the campaign settings are submitted. Here is where Billy can give the campaign a description, manage notifications and instructions, specify whether a sign-off password or comments are required, disable review of her own entitlements, or specify a certification validity interval, or the number of days until the certification expires. She'll go with 60 days, and scroll to the bottom of the page. From here, Billy can save the campaign configuration before starting or scheduling the campaign. A Schedule button is now available. Let's take a look. Reviews can be scheduled to occur or reoccur on a regular basis such as semi-annually. The scheduled job is given a name and an email address is specified for any warnings. Settings can be specified for the scheduled frequency, period, and iterations. Billy clicks on the Submit tab to close the schedule settings. She then scrolls down and clicks Launch Campaign. Because the option for each user to be reviewed by their manager was selected on the Reviewers page, the number of days to wait between sending out invitation emails to each level of the org chart is required. This allows lower level managers to get a head start before the upper management is notified. Finally, Billy is ready to start the campaign. After starting a campaign, you are taken to the Active Campaigns page. Currently, Billy's new campaign shows Calculating in the Percent Completed column. If she clicks Refresh, it shows 0% as no reviews have been completed yet. Now we'll take a look at Bernard's view. You'll recall that Billy specified him as the top level manager for this campaign. I'll log in as Bernard. Again, bypassing authentication. On his home page is a notification asking him to please review access for a campaign. Bernard clicks the link. This opens the campaign for review and certification. There are a number of viewing options, including search, filter, show hide columns, and deactivate embedded links. Entitlements can be viewed as entitlements per user or users per entitlement. Many people prefer the view of entitlements per user as it allows them to focus on one individual. In this example, I'll show the advanced view. Once subordinate entitlements are carefully reviewed in each included section, Bernard can take various actions, including certify, revoke, delegate, transfer, add comments, and edit in the case of profile attributes. He can apply these actions to profiles individually or by selecting multiple profiles at once using the shift or control keys and a click and applying the action to all selected profiles. Bernard certifies all of his subordinates and sees his review progress bar at the bottom of the page. Bernard has completed his review since his direct reports have not yet completed reviews for their own subordinates, he is not yet able to click Finish. You can see the button is grayed out. If we jump back to Billy, who initiated the campaign, and she clicks Refresh to update the Active Campaigns page, she sees that the entire campaign is only 9% complete. Opening the Active Campaign, she can view the settings. Clicking on the Review tab, shows her the number of open and completed segments, or manager subordinate groups. The Details sub-tab shows the progress of all managers in the campaign. Here we see that only Bernard has finished his review. His direct reports had better get cracking so Bernard can sign off. This concludes our demonstration of creating and running an org-centric access certification campaign using Hitachi ID Bravura Identity.
Thanks for tuning in. Hitachi ID offers a range of demonstration and training options. Click the links in the description below to watch more demo videos or to register for training. Visit our website to learn more.